In this video, we're going to use polar coordinates to evaluate a limit. Now, when evaluating limits, the first thing you should always do is plug in the values that your variables are approaching. So here, x is approaching 0, and so is y. And if we actually plug in 0 for both x and y, we end up in a bit of trouble. So we end up with 0 times the natural log of 0, which doesn't make any sense. So let's go ahead and try to use polar coordinates uh, to compute this limit. So recall that in the polar coordinate system, x is equal to r cosine theta, and y is equal to r sine theta. And also we have that r is the square root of x squared plus y squared. And this is what kind of tells you to use polar coordinates in this problem, because now this here, this is going to be r, and this piece here, this is also going to be r. So that's kind of like the red flag that tells you, hey, uh, try polar coordinates. We have to think about what happens here. Well, as our pair, x, y, approaches the origin, 0, 0, if you look here at this formula, x is approaching 0, y is approaching 0, so r is approaching 0. And notice r is positive, so let's go ahead and indicate that. So it's approaching 0 from the right. Okay, let's go ahead and carefully make our change of coordinates. So we have the limit as r approaches 0 from the right of r times the natural log of r. So this is the limit as r approaches 0 from the right. Now, if you just plug in 0 here, you get 0 times the natural log of 0, so that doesn't work. So the trick is to write this as the natural log of r divided by 1 over r. And then we will have an indeterminate form. If you think about the graph of the natural log of r, if you approach 0 from the right, you get negative infinity. So this is negative infinity. And in the denominator, we're approaching 0 from the right, so we're going to get infinity. So we have an indeterminate form that will allow us to use L'Hopital's rule. So this is equal to the limit as r approaches 0 from the right. And we'll use L'Hopital's in this step. I'll write LH to indicate that. L'Hopital says that we just take the derivative of the numerator and denominator. Well, the derivative of the natural log of r is 1 over r. And the derivative of 1 over r squared is negative 1 over r squared. If you don't have that memorized, um, rewrite it and use the power rule. So negative r to the negative 2, which is that. Let's clean this up. This is the limit as r approaches 0 from the right of 1 over r times, and then we're dividing, so we multiply by the reciprocal. So negative r squared over 1. The r's cancel. We have the limit as r approaches 0 from the right of negative r. And now we can go ahead and plug in 0. And keep, keep in mind, this limit exists independent of theta. So this is always equal to 0, regardless of which direction we approach from. So the limit does indeed exist, and it's equal to 0. That's it.